the reason why APC is G3 and Fijesen, they know the reason why, and that's why they are looking for everything possible to malign him. Meanwhile, Comrade Delhi Ajufo, okay, indicated in an interview why the APC was favoring Peter Obi over Atiku Abubakar. He asserted that the APC has given Peter Obi more attention than Atiku as a result of something about Peter Obi's petition that has frightened them. Ajufo claims that the APC has been creating false accusations against Peter Obi with the explicit goal of defaming him rather than the Labour Party, despite the fact that they have found no character flaws in him. His precise statements were as quoted from the interview posted on YouTube after the election. What occurred was that Obi went to court and Atiku also went to court. But APC is busy fighting just Peter Obi. They are scared by something in his petition. Thus, their only goal is to destroy Peter Obi, not the Labour Party. They have made all kinds of allegations against him, but you won't even find any fault in him personally. No amount of searchlights beamed on him found him wanting. In an interview, comrade Delhi Ajufo, a leader of the Labour Party, claimed that the APC was uneasy about something in Peter Obi's petition, which is why they have paid more attention to him than Atiku. Hmm. It is well known that the after presidential election, the candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, who finished third, and the candidate of the PDP, Atiku, who finished second, filed their petitions in court to challenge the victory of APC Bola Tinumbu. Mm, yes, there is something there is something in Obi's petition that frightens the APC. They want to align or malign him. We all are human beings. Anybody that's above 18 years must have sense of reasoning. It was clear that INEX officials are angry for what happened. All is because of bad governments. Only the people that still supporting APC are the people benefiting from them and they want to kill the country just for their own selfish reason okay Atiku is next to Tinubu. it is obvious you only create time for a witty allegation that is able to nail you and uh, the light ones if the people can as far as paying people to act as bishops just to make people believe that even bishops supported their Muslim Muslim ticket. They can do the unthinkable. Let us just be watchful and keep praying for God to help us because more are still coming. Everywhere, thinking person, both old and young, aware of that. No conspiracy shall stand, nor will it happen. I wonder why they are not even talking about a PDP. But the hate is just centered on Obi. Why most Yoruba people hate this man so much? Lord have mercy. So also the Yoruba people will say, Oh, why do they just love a hate Tinubu like this? That Igbo say hate Tinubu. It has always been vice versa. We know we have to look at this whole thing holistically. Okay, oh, they are not talking about PDP now. That is what a Ajulo or Jufo is saying. That there's something about the petition. Um, will be as written if they need if they need war is your fault INEC robbed Peter B to pay Tinubu and they know it that is the reality or the reason why they are not fighting Atiku the whole world would soon see our judges and Jaga disgracing their selves in court truth is a lying spirit that cannot be hold iniquity I know those thieves will not allow good to reign. Peter B. Petition is calling for war. They need to focus on that, please. Hope you know the content of this petition. How is this calling for war? Maybe you are the one of those oh yes member that writes as other others rights. No evil formed against Obi and that he shall prosper. The word of wisdom, whenever satanic agencies and instruments 
Talis's APC evil politicians won't brought sorrow and improvement. I see so great that that will liberate the people. They surely will pause like Pharaoh. They will pursue like Pharaoh, but certainly perish in the Red Sea beyond human control. By divine providence, Nigerians are wiser and deserve the best educationally health system, developmental infrastructure, employment. Please, where is the character flawless human being? He is a loser. No court will overturn that. Okay, everyone is a loser, both Obi Atiku and Tinubu. You don't even know the Labour Party won elections. Peter Obi is the king. He is our next president of our country. Just wait and see what God is going to do in our president. Hey, now, wow. The word, the word of evil. Why we? Why we? Wow, Joe. Aye neka, aye asan, aye asan, they love evil. Mm. Okay, oh. APC didn't fear no, no, a eh, number two, talk less of number three. How do you mean? You are confused. It's not confused now. Are you not saying, is it not only piece of that they have been going after? People are even asking whether. Atiku has even gone back to Dubai because he's not been speaking. Even his spokespeople have not been saying nothing. Mm. The same way they made false claim about Jesus, they nailed him. Babangida also laid similar dastardly claim against a MKO, the acclaimed winner of June 12, 1993 general election before annulling that election results. So guys, let's say your opinion and have your take on this.